Welcome to channel, Peace If You Can Find It, Diva Speaking. Welcome everyone. I appreciate you listening and watching the, uh, the channel. My preference is listening. I want to, um, I'll leave this article that I'm getting my information from in the um, description below, but this is touching close to home. I often speak of the atrocities that we as people have to deal with surviving in this world with the air, water, and food, the medication, everything is coming at us. But this article is from the Detroit Free Press and I reside in the metro Detroit area. And the title is Thousands of Tons of Radioactive Waste from Atom Bomb Making Heading to Wayne County. Again, that's Metro Detroit. Everyone heard of Motown. Not everyone, but that's Detroit. And so Wayne County is Metro Detroit. A hazardous waste landfill in Wayne County is preparing to take 6,000 cubic yards of soil and concrete and 4,000 gallons of groundwater contaminated with elevated radiation from a site in New York where the Manhattan Project developed the atomic bomb during and, ju during and just after war World War II. They're trying to remediation, that's re uh, a remedy and reversing the damage that they are done. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineer is working on this. It's, it's at, right now, all this contamination is at a Niagara Falls storage site in Lewiston, New York. I wonder if the citizen in Lewiston, New York, were aware of this. It's estimated that 25 semi-trucks per week will be traveling via public roads, bringing this contaminated radioactive material from New York, where it's probably caused havoc, and now it's Michigan turn, where there are three major lakes, Superior, Lake Erie, and Lake Huron. I believe that's three lakes, major lakes. So, <sighs> It will be in Belleville, Michigan, where it can be safely stored. How you safely store radioactive material, okay? It's going to be in a land filling, a land filling facility in my backyard. Do anyone remember the East Palestine, Ohio train derailment with all these chemicals? floating in the air, in the ground, everywhere, and these people are still sick today? Well, did we know in Wayne County that they had already transported some of that material here to Wayne County, where the, a large population is African American? Okay? It was a large outcry, but it doesn't mean anything. When they want to do what they want to do, it's going to be done. And it has nothing to do with who you voted for either. Because I'm going to reveal too that Michigan Rep. Reggie Miller was informed by Free Press that this is going to happen. Do you see? So even those who you voted for have no power. When they want to do the higher up, do what they want to do, it's going to be done. And it doesn't matter who you vote for. Because this representative had no clue until the free press informed him. They didn't have the decency to let him, Reggie, know that elevated radiation waste from atomic bomb developed in New York is coming your way. He said, I was not aware, nor was I alerted. He said, that's frustrating. No, she, I beg you, forgive me. Reggie is a, a she, okay? She said, I'm not happy about that. 
to say the very least. What would you think? How I feel. And the citizens, this is troubling. But they got us people, uh, the air, water, and food. Uh, they saying something, I'm allegedly hearing depopulation. Huh? By hook or crook? By any means necessary? Air, water, food? Medication? Huh? They coming after us. This was created, all this mess was created in February 1944. And it was stored at the Niagara Falls storage site in Lewiston, New York. But you know what? This area that they shipping this to is a vastly Caucasian area. You know, anyone heard of U of M? University of Michigan? That area. Ann Arbor? Ypsilanti? Belleville, Michigan? That area. So, they're not just after African black people, brown and black people. They're after everybody. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how big your flag is on the back of your F-150. It does not matter anymore. If you're not a millionaire and a trillionaire, you no count. And they're telling you. Our skin is already in danger from the water that's coming out the faucet and that we're turning on and drinking. But we can't do nothing about it. But sit here and discuss it like me. It's a shame. We cannot do anything about this. This is a slow, dripping demise. They doing away with us slowly. And there's nothing we can do about it. Absolutely nothing we can do about it. Protesting does nothing. That's been made aware for the last 10 months. Protesting does nothing. And we could pray, 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 and nothing is going to happen. Because prayer cannot correct what it could not prevent. We have no one to save us. And it's, it's gloom and doom with me. The glass is empty. The light at the end of the tunnel is a fast-moving train. Because I'm telling you the truth. They after us. But I'm going to end... I don't know. I'm sorry to be the author of doom and gloom, but what? if you can't beat them, join them, or just turn the music on and just eat, live, eat, drink, and be merry. But thanks for tuning in and listening to this. I'll leave the article below for those who are interested in what they are doing to us. And your state representative, those who you voted for, cannot help you. Those who you are praying to cannot help you. That's obvious. It's apparent. It's crystal clear. Okay. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Okay. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. What are we going to do, people? No one is bringing any of these issues up to anybody. It's just voting happy and dancing and for what? What are you voting for? It doesn't matter. Like I said, Reggie, she, this representative, Free Press had to inform her. So we up the creek without a paddle.